Alright, so you're gonna download the files on the right. And let me get out of here. Alright. So what should we do? Click on new. If this doesn't already pop up for you. And your host name is gonna be the name of your um the IP address of your iPod or iPhone. And depending on your router, it's going to be one two point one six eight point X point X. So for my router it's point two and then point two. But you're gonna go ahead and go on your iPod or iPhone, click settings. Click Wi-Fi, then click the little arrow, and it's going to be under IP address, so just say 192.168.x.x, and you're going to use that. So then put that in. Then the username is going to be root, and the password is going to be alpine, like A-L-P-I-N-E, right there. That's going to be your password, and you're going to use... SFTP and allow SCP SCP fallback. Then you can click save. Then you're gonna click login. And this might take a little while for you. It took like a minute or two for me, so just wait for it. And then it should pop up. And what you're gonna do is make sure you extract the files, the uh You're gonna extract the zip files that you got on the right for uh, Monkey Baller, Crash Bandicoot, and then you're gonna go one file up, and you're going to go to uh, slash private slash bar into stash, and then right here in applications, you're going to drag and drop your either monkey ball that app dot app file or your ifuse.app file and you're just going to drop it in here and you're going to double click after you already drop it in and then drop it in and drop it in my ifuse because I have none on it and this will pop up and it's going to take a little bit of time but just wait for it Monkey Ball took a little bit of time, but Crash Bandicoot only took like 20 seconds. 19. So if you're gonna double click on applications dot whatever, it might be different than mine. And then you're gonna go ahead and find your iFuse or your Monkey Ball file, and you're gonna right click and then click properties and change the properties to 0775. And then set group owner and permissions recursively. You're going to check that and you're going to click OK. And this is going to pop up. And then you're going to uh, right click in some free space if you have any. You might have to make the file uh, the window a little bigger. You're just going to right click new in directory. And then you're going to make this file right here. Documents with a capital D. And then you're going to Go file up, go file up, and then go to slash private slash bar mobile and make another documents folder. In the two documents folders, you're only to want them to be 0777 and set group. If I have any, bring this up. Set group owner and permissions recursively. You're going to click OK. Make sure you do that for the other one too. I forgot to. I think it's already set. And then you're just going to restart your iPod or iPhone. Just turn it off and then turn it back on. And then you should have a Crash Bandicoot 
Monkey Ball or any of the other apps that are available. At this time, there is only Monkey Ball in Crash Bandicoot as far as I know, but I'll keep posting the links. And if you need a different method to put the application on your iPod, I will make another video, but at this time, this is all you need. So thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe. What?